update. So I've learned, I've learned quite a bit. Um, I've learned that these particular carburetors have pressed in pilot jets. They're not threaded, they're pressed in. Um, thanks to uh, a couple of guys on my uh, YouTube, I wish I could remember their names. Oh my goodness, I'm going to, uh, I'll tag them in this video uh, on my YouTube channel. This will be a separate video. I did some other stuff yesterday that I'm gonna I'm putting together. So, anyways, <clears throat> update. Here we go. So, main jet right here. Main jet is your float. Float. There's a needle float. Float needle underneath it lets the fuel into the bowl. We all know that. Main jet. This is your air fuel screw mixture. This is I was confusing this with a possible jet. It's outside the carburetor. I didn't realize that I, uh, when I did the video, but yeah, you put the cover on and it's outside. It's the air fuel screw, air fuel screw. All right. So the only other thing that was left that I couldn't figure out is what is this stem right here? This stem right here. You see that? That is your pilot's jet. Pilot jet. The problem that I'm running into is different places call it different things. Uh, some people call that a slow jet. Slow jet. So that's your, your idle jet, your slow jet. Pilot jet. They're all the same freaking thing. No wonder I can't get any straight answers on stuff. Anyways, it's got three different names. Um... But I finally, uh, I went on this, the CB750 Facebook page and I put in a search on that page, uh, Pilot Jet. And I saw a link uh, to a place that sells various Pilot Jets for these PD carburetors. Um, so I looked on the site and I ordered this. I guess a number 35 is the stock factory pilot jet that should be in this carburetor. So I ordered a 38, a 40, a 42, and a 45 times four, four carburetors. So they're coming from a place uh, in the States called uh, four into one, four into one. Um, so that, that that's ordered and it should be coming. And uh, I didn't think about ordering the main jets so the the main jets that are in here are 105s. So uh, the poster, the guy that mo mentioned, commented on this, said that maybe my uh, my main jet might have to be up jacked up a little bit too. Uh, you could drill them and, and make them bigger. But uh, I ordered some from a different website in Canada, and it's a vintage CB750 site. I ordered a variety. I think there's four varieties uh, times four because I got four main jets. So that should be here in one or two weeks. Anyway, so we have, we have made progress. I also, like I said there, Doc, Doc, Doc something, uh, made a comment on yesterday's video, and he uh, he commented on that's the pressed-in pilot jet. I took my pliers, and I tried to get it out. It's a little stiff, so I'm going to use some of this. No endorsements, but it works really good. Um and I'm going to squirt a little in there and uh, get them loosened up and see if I can pull those pilot jets out. But I'm 100% sure that's my issue. Uh, it's uh, It runs good on choke, so that means it's got lots of gas, less air. As soon as you put the choke off, it doesn't run so great. It runs, but not great. No response, won't idle. So I'm thinking it needs more fuel. And the pilot jet is what controls the fuel at low revs, idle to low revs. The main jet takes over at a certain rev. So anyways, uh, I've learned that also. Anyways, uh, the uh, I was watching this doc guy this morning, and he was talking about uh, softening up your rubbers. And mine could use a little more softening. And uh, Dave Taylor helped me out there back in March, I think it was, or April, April or something. And he used the product uh, Wintergreen Oil. And you soak your, uh, soak your rubbers in Wintergreen, 
and it softens them right up. And this guy's uh, YouTube channel, Doc, I can't remember his name, um, did the exact same thing two years ago, and his rubbers are still soft. So uh, I'm going to redo mine and get some wintergreen. I think you get it at a health food store. And uh, uh, I was told by my buddy that put it in a pot and heat it a little bit with some water and heat it, uh, make a solution, and it softens the rubbers. And it really did. It, it did soften them. I don't think it lasts. Yeah, they're still soft, but, you know, maybe they could be a little better. So, a lot of information. I'll, I'll put this up because people are asking. Sandy, thank you for your email. Um, yeah, um, it's a learning process. It sure is. If I can get these pilot jets out, I'll be a happy camper. Uh, they said there's numbers on the pilot jets there somewhere. I'd like to know what the size of the pilot jet is because I want to go one or two bigger. And uh, they'll be coming in the mail from four into one uh, 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 online store down in the States. They should be here hopefully soon. Anyways, um, so there you go. So uh, I'll get this put up. And uh, thanks for all your input. Thanks for your help. And uh, Chopper Social this Sunday, but it looks like rain. So uh, I'll make that decision you know, Saturday or Sunday morning, whatever, if it's raining, what, I ain't going nowhere if it's raining, so we could also do it on the 22nd, which is the following Sunday, all right, so, uh, thanks for watching, we're moving forward, and we're learning, so I hope you're learning too, so keep your head straight, get out in the garage, and work on your shit, an update, um, it works, I put the pliers, on the first one and uh very very stiff so i'd give it a little squirt on all look what i got out all four can you see that pilot jet i got to get a little piece of emery paper emery cloth and see if i can clean it up it's very dirty see if i can see a number on it i gotta go in the in the house to get that in the basement. But anyways, there's the update. Thanks a lot.